Hey guys, it's the giveaway season. Thank you so very much for joining me on this other exciting episode of Hot and Juicy with me, Miss Bang. We're still gonna be making lucky winners. We haven't yet chosen the right person for that. And like I said last episode, we're gonna be choosing randomly. So watch this show till the end. And in course of the show, there's a card that is popping with a celebrity on it. Make sure you identify the person and drop the person's name in the comment section. We're gonna be choosing randomly. And at the end of the game, the person that will be choosing is going to win something really, really good in terms of cash. So let's get it popping with the first segment of this program. Guys, go nowhere. I'll be right back just after this. Welcome to the first segment of this program, guys. More on Biggie update. Another Patience and Fish saga in the Biggie studios. On this episode of Patience vs. Fish, we had Patience calling Fish a mad, dirty dog for not cleaning the toilet to her satisfaction when she was house captain. Patience as house captain gave orders and expected them to be well executed. So Fish was punished to clean the toilet, something it did, but not well enough to please the house captain, who, after checking, said it wasn't well done and caught fish a dirty mad dog. Guys, watch this. Anyone you're bearing with them, when fish came here, what did I ask him? Are you done? And he said yes. I didn't say anything. Fish, you will not talk over me. Fish, you will not talk over me. Fish, you will not talk over me. I've been there. It's okay now. You will not talk over me. I'm just saying, if it's not done to my satisfaction, what do you want me to do? If it's not done, you will not talk. Fish, you will not talk over me. You will not stop over me. I want to talk to you, but you are brush more. Everybody wants to brush more. You 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 brush more. Yeah. What you have noticed is that this is not the first time patience is trained insults at fish. The first time they clashed, she called him a goat. And during a chamber session, she said fish is unstable and needs help. Wonder if she really knows who Fish is. And let's assume Fish really needs help. Is her attitude towards him the best help she can offer? Or is she simply catching feelings for Fish? I mean, this now looks like an obsession. Fish is not the only flatmate in that house. Why is she so stuck on his back? A lot of fans are going crazy with her attitude towards him because he hardly provokes her, but she keeps coming for him. Nevertheless, her actions towards him seem to be playing in his favor because he keeps stopping the eviction chart. And this time around, he had a 25% vote over his other flatmates. As he and Joy have been evicted, leaving us with 17 flatmates. And this week, Fish was nominated head of house. He declined the nomination and handed it to Cynthian. While Noni White and Clementor have been put on second strike, for using a phone in that house. Guys, keep following Biggie. It's super hot there. When you fashion dirty, another one, a young, young. Scandal. Magasco delayed wife's birthday wish post amid ongoing viral video of her celebrating birthday with her rich limber big boy. Wow. Two days ago, Magasco decided to celebrate his wife on her birthday with a lovely message claiming her as his wife, something she did not appreciate and took it as an advantage to spill some truth about their wedding, saying, I do not really see why some boys are so immature. I have said this time and again, I'm no longer interested in the marriage. I never wanted to take this public, but you are being childish. So let's do it in the public way. I decided to leave this marriage because I realized I got married to a child, mommy's son. Someone who beats a woman almost half dead and call his family members to come support him. I have taken a lot of this. I decided to leave because I wanted my happiness. Wow, it's true the roof we live under heights a lot. So now, so this Magasco a marriage with day. So Magasco has been beating Fallon all this while and she has not been complaining about it. Wait, could this be the reason she has been cheating on him? Guys, watch this. I'll be right back. Hey, she says she likes sharp guys. 
Pull up in a range kinda guys Pull up in a Benz kinda guys Pull up, pull up Lamborghini kinda guys yes. She says she like bad guys Pull up in a range kinda guys Guys, pull that's what you saw on that guys. video with her pull side husband called Max The rich guy from Wednesday Could she have been cheating on him since? Or does this come as a consequence of the domestic violence she claims she has been going through? So Max says he has been with Fallon since 2019 and that he is the one who willingly gave Fallon to Magasco after his threat on taking his life if Fallon was not his. Now Max has decided to take back what initially and rightfully belongs to him. I wonder if Fallon is an object. Some men will shock you. People are saying that Fallon is a slave queen, that she was not ready for marriage, and that slave queens belong to the streets. Guys, are these your thoughts too? Let me know in the comment section. Cameron backs 12 nominations at the prestigious African Music Magazine Awards AFIMA. Guys, the recognition is huge this year, proving our artists are doing an impressive work. Can we put our hands together for our artists for all the work they have been putting through this year, guys? Come on. <laughs> Kos is one of the most nominated Cameroonian artists this year. In almost all national and international awards, his name is mentioned. This is what happens when you work extremely hard. Afima 2021 is at its 8th edition, guys, and will be holding on November 14, 2021. Please make sure you check their website Follow the voting link and make sure you vote all Cameroonian artists nominated. Still talking about awards, guys. The telecommunication company Orange Cameroon, through their show, Urban Heat, launched a few months ago, handsomely rewarded three great Cameroonian artists for their talent. Malox won the first prize and was given the sum of 20 million francs CFA. Happy De Fulan came second and was given 10 million francs CFA. Minx occupied the third position and was equally given the sum of 5 million francs CFA. So these are the three artists who won out of the 20 artists who participated in the competition. I think we had Mimi, we had Mr. Leo, Lokotu, Sanju Namga and others. I think they took this competition as a joke. But now seeing how handsomely the winners were rewarded, I think maybe next edition. They're going to put more effort. Anyways, congratulations to my logs, to Happy, and to Minx. Concerning these guys, Jovi Boko God had this to say. The way this competition was organized, if you sing in English, can you win? It's just a question. Let's leave English. Can you earn singing in your mother tongue? Voila. You can only win if you sing and communicate in French, okay? Voila. So it doesn't measure any artistic talent. It's propaganda and marketing. The idea and concept of this competition, I can't find it. I talk about it anywhere. There are more efficient ways if it is to impact. This model is outdated. Kanayo Kanayo's presence in Cameroon was felt in every aspect of it. The legendary Nollywood actor was in Cameroon for the movie Against the Wind by Neba Florence. We saw him embracing passionately his role as he was acting alongside other great Cameroonian actors like Epule Jeffrey, Damo Damaris, Mimi, and others. Guys, check this out. Guys, we can't wait for this movie to drop. Before leaving, Kanayo Kanayo was given the Molamo Sima title of Good Luck and Riches by Chief Molif Molungu of the Batoke Kingdom. Check this out, guys. <laughs> Still talking about movies, guys. After Alex Sekubo, Cameroonian movie star Cindy Amada will be bringing to Cameroon Nollywood actor Ike Obona for her next movie projection, Kuva, meaning Legend of the Sea, set to debut pretty soon. We can't wait for it to drop. Welcome on our international showbiz scene, guys. Popular Coupe de Calais Ivorian artist Debodo Lekumfa is demanding a total boycott of all Fali Ipupa's concerts in Côte d'Ivoire. Wow. Congolese artist Fali Ipupa has been booked for a good number of concerts in Ivory Coast 
for the end of year festivities like it has always been the case. So fed up about it, Debodo Likumpa in his recent post called on all Ivorians to boycott all Fali Ikupa's concert in Ivory Coast, saying that Fali is not the only artist in the world and that his concert are super expensive as compared to that of local artists. And this is actually how he made it sound, guys. Fali, you will be boycotted in Ivory Coast. Enough is enough. Every year, my people are duped by the same songs. He continued with the promoter of the show saying, and I still quote, Mr. Promoter, if you're wise, cancel all Fali's concerts in Côte d'Ivoire because that day, I will give a free concert where Fali will be performing. Wow, this is so daring. I mean, it can only happen in other countries, never in Cameroon. You remember that Fali Paul will be coming to Cameroon for a series of three concerts? And my question to you is, Wolfie Stan, like Wolfie really Stan, talks to me the boycott Fali for Cameroon. Who can do that? Okay, guys, that's all we have for the first segment of this program. Remember, this is giveaway, guys. Make sure you win. There's the card that is popping during this show. Make sure you identify the person that is on the card and drop the person's name in the comment section. At the end of it, I'll be selecting randomly and you can be the lucky winner. Remember, it's a courtesy from 237 Showbiz. It is time for us to have it more entertaining with our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Top 10 coming up right away, guys. Go nowhere. I'll be right back. Welcome on our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week, guys. Opening our playlist is this beautiful brand new release titled Never Complain from Jabagwan. Watch and enjoy. We never complain. Get to you, man, I tell you if you never complain. Do my walk with the clock, but my brain to a clock walk out. Popping up at the ninth position is this beautiful song titled Bang from Lil Nero. Adi bang, 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 bang. Banga, bang. Then my song, the chak, 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 chak. Clap, I bang, 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 bang. Then my occupying the eighth position is this beautiful song from Otang featuring Avero Jess. Over chante, over dance, over bouge. Everybody say, Otang, Otang. Popping up at the seventh position is this beautiful collab song titled Coney from artist Dante Boy South and Technica. <laughs> Hardfire comes up at the sixth position with this song titled La Vie à Douala. La Vie à Douala, c'est difficile, c'est difficile, oh maman. La Vie à Douala, c'est difficile, c'est difficile, oh. Avec African Woman takes the fifth position by Magasco. Gabon, je suis fatigué. Popping up at the fourth position is Receve from King Kum. Medea Queen drops a brand new release titled Commando and it takes the third position. I get my day from Cameroonian gospel sensation Elizabeth Teke pops up at the second position. I get my day, you to get your day. I get my time, oh, you to get your time. Topping our playlist, this episode is this beautiful collab song from Salatia featuring Avero Jess and it is titled Planet. The song is trending, banging everywhere. Make sure you keep streaming, guys. Watch and enjoy. Ce soir, moi je suis à la chasse. Moi je ne veux pas de mots de tête. Ça paye à l'oubou la classe. Et quand c'est la fête, on est chaud. Welcome on Pick of the Week, guys. Popular Nigerian MC Ebuka has been allegedly paid 11.5 million francs CFA to host the fifth edition of the Bonte Digital Media Awards coming up in Cameroon on December 15 at La Palace Bonan. I'm going crazy on social media guys, what's the issue? Is it the fact that a Nigerian was chosen over a Cameroonian MC to host this event? Remember he will be hosting alongside uh, Cameroonian actress Mireille Blanche. Or is it his payment which is an issue? 
let me know in the comment section guys and this is where we draw the cartoons for today's exciting episode of your favorite show hot and juicy with me miss me if you have not been able to identify the person on the cart you can re-watch the show as many times as possible because the rewards will be big very very big and remember it's courtesy from 237 show guys if you're here for the first time please make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications guys don't forget to let me know in the comment section what you think about everything i just said here and for more information on the Cameroon entertainment industry make sure you follow us we're on facebook twitter instagram i'm very much active on our website too it's 237 showbiz guys be part of us on telegram we give a lot out there the telegram channel is 237 showbiz please make sure you join and follow 237 showbiz studios that's our new division i'll be right back next week with so much more guys don't forget to share the show. Do have a great day. Studios. Bye.